What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and we are back with our what's coming on Thursday or what's new Thursday video as we do every Wednesday and we actually get some new stuff coming right so we get our customary player of the week worldwide and it doesn't take long for us to figure out who these players are actually going to be because their times align up with Messi and Harry Kane's goals. Obviously, Messi came on as a super sub and scored a hat-trick. Harry Kane, of course, scoring in the 57, 60 and 80 minute for Bayern as well. So it looks like we're going to be getting those as, uh, as new player of the weeks. So I'll get into whether we're going to get a Vinny Jr. card in a second, but we are actually going to be getting a brand new campaign to tie in with Halloween as well. So, Konami have actually released a Halloween trailer for these cards. And you might notice, right, you've got Jorginho center forward, Jesus right wing, Havertz left back. They seem to be Halloween kind of spooky inspired designed cards with signatures on them. And obviously these will probably be free as well. It says log in now. Now this is part of a trailer that they have here, um, which it seems to be kind of like a behind the scenes uh, trailer for Arsenal here. Obviously Arsenal being a partner club, right? So they're just doing a couple of drills and stuff like that. To be honest with you lads, I do like kind of some of these things, right? Obviously I would like to see them do more of this sort of stuff. Um, and, you know, have maybe like weekly or monthly partner episodes where, you know, they do different teamed events, you know, that you have to play with all Arsenal players to unlock the cards or unlock a big time card or whatever. Um, now, it is interesting as well that usually when they release free cards like this, it means that they're going to be releasing club packs. I'm very surprised they haven't released club packs yet. But everything I've heard seems to be that it's going to be with the V4.2 update. And obviously that will probably depend on, uh, you know, the January transfer market then as well, how close it comes to December. But as I said, these seem to be like a take on the kind of like, you know, out of position cards that they have on EAFC. So those are the cards there and you can see that they're available on the 24th to the 31st which is going to be kicking off the brand new campaign as well. So that's going to replace this campaign here. You can see Andres Iniesta and the 800 million download campaign. They're going to be ending tomorrow as well. So we're going to be getting brand new campaigns for them. And that's going to be the Halloween campaign. So there'll probably be, you know, a kit. There'll probably be a couple of different things as well. It looks like the kit is actually going to be in that. If you look at the pattern in the back there, that looks like kit fabric. And that'll probably be what the kit comes. There is a ball coming as well as part of a free login as well. So yeah, listen, I mean, it's something obviously that they want to tie in with Halloween there as well. Um, other than that, you know, we are going to be getting more cards and probably new events. We also have a brand new Neymar card that's going to be coming. Now, whether he comes with the new jersey that you see here for Halloween or whether they kind of hold him back a little bit. I think they'll probably want to get a Neymar card out because he obviously is returned. He's back from that big horrific injury that he had. So they'll probably want as their ambassador to get a Neymar card out. And that looks like the design that they're going to go for there, um, which again is going to be interesting. We also have, of course, our player of the week. Now, Pedri and Curtis Jones will probably make it in. As I said, we already probably have Messi and Harry Kane as well. And I'm not too sure, lads, will we get a European, right? Obviously, because it's so close. Yesterday, this uh, this match was only on Madrid. Lads, Madrid look absolutely sick, man. I mean, I just, they're just never beaten. It doesn't matter how bad or how, you know, poor that they're playing. It, they can just turn it on for 15, 20 minutes, man. And they just have serious, serious firepower up front. Vinny is in Ballon d'Or form, in my opinion. Um, and Madrid and Barcelona are really really flying it in La Liga. So it's going to be interesting tonight, obviously, Barcelona playing Bayern, um, which they always kind of struggle against. But Vinny, I don't know, will he come? Will it be too close? Usually they leave it for the following week. But I do think that with Vinny, you know, scoring that hat-trick, they'll probably want to bring out a monster card for him, especially, you know, for Halloween and stuff. So it might be a week delayed, but let's see. Let's see what happens. Also, I want to talk about the FIFA E World Cup 2024. I did a video last week where I told people, you know, and I tried to explain that there was a wording thing uh, with, with it that, like, it seemed that you could, like, play with any country or whatever. Um, but what seemed to have happened was a lot of people picked a country, you know, for example, if I, obviously, me being Irish, if I picked for France and I won the event or I came in the top five or top six, uh, obviously, the rankings were, were going to look show me that I was in the top ranking. But obviously, I would never have been able to represent France because I'm not French. You know, my nationality is Irish. So they, they do say that they've confirmed an issue in the teamed ranking event round three where the ranking was not displayed correctly. Um, and it says the issue has been fixed. Additionally, we have verified that the rewards have been distributed properly and the correct ranking is now being play, displayed. This also had to do as well with the team that you chose and the rewards that you got as well. So yeah, a little bit of a messy one, but obviously the FIFA E World Cup all the players and all the nations will have their players sorted or their team sorted by now. So 
yeah, I mean, that's the thing with the esports side of it, man. I just think that, you know, there's always going to be a path in for people, but there's always going to be, you know, first, based on the specific ranking and stuff, it is going to be difficult. And then you have guys scoring, man, you know, 150 goals in, in 20 matches, you know. And listen, I can do a video on it and we can talk about it all day. But usually if you go 3-4-0 up in eFootball, I mean, people just tap out when there's nothing to play for. You know, I played five or six matches last week uh, where I was winning 2-3-0. People were tapping out after 1-0. People were tapping out after 2-1 uh, in the second half, you know. I, I played a guy, he was, you know, 3-0 down within the first 20 minutes and he tapped. So, um, yeah. But other than that, lads, it seems to be that it's going to be pretty much like new stuff for Halloween and then a bit of rinse and repeat. Obviously, we've got the brand new legends to come as well. Uh, Vieira and Toram, I'd say, are making serious bank, lads. Honestly, I think these two packs that they've released, the Toram pack, the Vieira pack, and the Samuel Eto'o pack, I think have been insane. They probably will bring more packs out as well. This is still ongoing. I don't know, are they going to fix this issue? I, I know a lot of people are asking me about this, right? So we've got two spins here. If we open this, okay, you will see that it's an unlimited draw. Now, some people are getting Drogba, you know, fairly easily. Um, that's actually not a bad pull. Some people are getting him, you know, they're not getting him. Some people are getting him in one spin. But if you go in here, right, when you actually reopen a pack, it doesn't, the pack resets all the time. So I just got Sabitzer here, but it looks like I haven't got him. So I could actually spin again and get Sabitzer straight off the rip. So every time you open this, it, it's not a reducing balance. You can literally get the same player 50 times in a row. So as you see here, we get Crimp. So yeah, a lot of people have been asking about that. Is it an issue? It seems to be an issue. I don't think that they kind of realize that you could do that the whole time because that pack is gone now. And if I have 10 more packs, it's the same chance. You have a 1 in 50 chance every single time you spin. So yeah, that is it for me, lads. We'll be back tomorrow live streaming and uh, we'll have some more details on our content coming over the next couple of days. Until then, let me know what you guys think of this Halloween stuff and I'll talk to you in a bit. Peace. Don't forget to subscribe if you're a beast.